Number five is another problem where we're plunking metal into water and we're looking for the specific heat of the metal. So I'm again going to approach it as setting up two columns, one for metal and one for water. Again, I'm interested in the mass, the specific heat, the starting temperature, the final temperature, and the change in temperature. Metal, metal. So I have 3.4 grams of metal. Its starting temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. The specific heat of the metal is what I'm looking for. For the water, 25 milliliters of water, one milliliter of water is one gram of water. I know water to have a specific heat of 4.18 and it's starting at 80 degrees. It says the water cooled to 78 degrees. The thing to remember is the change in temperature of water is not the same, but the final temperatures are the same. The final temperature of the water, which is 78, is gonna be the same as the final temperature of the metal. Now this gives me the ability to calculate my two change in temperatures. Difference between 78 and 10, bigger minus smaller, will give me 68 degrees. Bigger minus smaller will give me two degrees. And now I'm ready to plug into my heat loss, heat gained. So the energy gained by the metal is equal to the energy lost by the water. So I'm gonna multiply the mass, the specific heat and the change in temperature and set it equal to the mass, the specific heat and the change in temperature. So for the metal, its mass is 3.4. Its specific heat is what I'm looking for. Its temperature change is 68 degrees. For the metal, I'll multiply that through. For the water, the mass is 25. The specific heat of water is 4.18. My change in temperature, I've written it three times the wrong way, is two degrees. So now I'm gonna multiply those two together, 3.4 times 68. 231.2x is going to equal 25 times 4.18 times 2, 209. And I'm going to divide both sides by 231.2, giving me a specific heat of 0.9. The units of specific heat are joules per gram degrees Celsius. You don't need to memorize that because we always give you this table. And this table shows you the units for specific heat to use. So I will box that as my answer.